Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, greetings to you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know it's been long since we journeyed together, taking up a series. The Great Lent begins today. And as in the previous year, I wish to begin once again a journey with you this Lenten season. Taking a sneak peek at the way we observe Lent, we may notice one thing, that during Lent each year, we give up something as an act of sacrifice and as an act of spiritual discipline. Often the things that we give up is related to food. We all give up non-vegetarian food. Few people who love chocolate and ice cream and sweets, they decide to give up those. And in the recent years, we have also seen people giving up their involvement in social media activities. But when we do all these things, when we do all these giving up, we are doing it knowing that after Easter Sunday, we can once again enjoy everything that we have given up. For many years, I too did it in the same way. But this year, I am being prompted to do something different. For years or till until last year, I gave up something for Lent as a spiritual discipline. On the very first day of the Lent, I would very religiously make a commitment to sacrifice something that was very important to me as an act or exercise of self-denial. It was usually something that was related to food. I like non-vegetarian food. And so all the great Lent that I have observed, I have given up non-vegetarian food. Few years, I have decided to give up papadam. Yes, I like Kerala papadam a lot. I used to enjoy having soft drinks. I did give up soft drinks. There was also few years when I gave up tea. Tea was something that I cannot do without. And there I was just wondering, was I ever glad this was the question that I asked myself. Was I ever glad or was I ever waiting for the Easter Sunday to come? And if you ask me honestly, yes, I was eagerly waiting for the Easter Sunday to come so that everything that I have given up, I can take it back. This year, just a thought came to me. Why not? Why not leave something forever and how much better if I can pull out the weeds in me so that I can be more fruitful to my family, more fruitful to my neighbors around, more fruitful to the believers at my church, to my colleagues at work and play, and thereby being more fruitful to the society and the place where I am placed. That is what gave rise to this series of studies, which I have titled as Lent forever. This is not going to be an easy journey, I know. But dear friends, let these be the initial steps in giving up something forever. Something which we never want back in our life. As we journey together this Lenten season, let us choose certain habits. Let us choose certain attitudes. Let us choose certain sin that contaminates us, that infects us, and thereby that poisons our souls. This Lenten season, my dear friends, let us intentionally decide, with the help of our Lord Almighty, to put our energy and efforts into ridding ourselves of something that is destructive in our lives. Let this year's Lenten season be a beginning of not just 50 days, but for a lifetime. I request your prayers for this series that I have titled as Lent Forever. I wish to premiere a devotion every day starting from tomorrow. Every day morning 5 a.m. GST, that is Gulf Standard Time, and 6.30 a.m. IST, Indian Standard Time. And we can together travel these 50 days taking a decision to remove something out of our life, not just for 50 days, waiting for the Easter to come, but to remove it for a lifetime. This Lenten season, let us take a decision. It's not for 50, but it's for lifetime. 
May the good Lord bless us to do so. God bless you.